Hello Explorers, today on Exploring the Local Life we're going to talk about our campground hosting position, why we chose it, and how our first week has gone. Campground hosting. So what is the motivation behind that? A big thing for us is that it gives us three months of rent-free living. Yep, definitely easy on the budget. That's right. As uh, frugal RVers, for the most part, um, this gives us an opportunity to save on three months worth of RV campsite fees. Yes, yeah, so what we've basically done is sign up for three months of work camping at a uh, Georgia State Park. Yes. So Jessica, how do we get this campground gig? All right, so it's a Georgia State Park, so we went to the Georgia State Parks internet website. Mm -hmm. And very simple, and very well laid out, but you can find volunteer opportunities on their volunteer opportunity page. That's right, and it has a listing of all the different opportunities and like how many they're going to need and what dates they run through. Yep. So when we went on board, we looked at something that was going to be sort of near Atlanta because of course I still have to work. That's right. And there was an opportunity. So we created profiles and we filled out an application. Including a background check, which That's you right. do have to pay for. That's right. And then we just waited for a call for an interview and we got that. Mm -hmm. We interviewed and... Yep. That was last October. Yep. And here we are. January. That's right. So it was a really easy process. Yeah. Not that it's going to be easy to get picked because, you know, depending on time of year, some you're going to probably get a lot of competition. But for us, being our first gig ever being a campground host, we're at a pretty simple park. That's right. And it's winter time, so there's not a lot of folks here. Yeah. So if we screw things up, we're not, we're not going to screw it up no, too bad. No, we're not. And really, uh, so far, the first week has been... Aside from having our frozen pipes, as you guys, uh, if you haven't caught our Winter RVing Fails video, I recommend that you yeah. do. Um, outside of that, we have had uh, no issues. The site comes for the campground host with uh, electricity, running water, and sewer, sewer. Yeah. which the other sites don't get. So, bonus. Oh, and we also get a nifty little... Uh, little uh, four-wheeler. Yeah, which the kids can't ride in. So, basically, <laughs> Robert's womp, been womp. driving it here and there, and that's it. Yeah, so that's what it is about, and Jessica has some more to say later on in the video. Yep. Hey, Explorers, it's Jessica with Exploring the Local Life, and uh, just going to take you along with me as I do my rounds with the kids uh, for our campground host position. So the bulk of uh, what we do is just walk around the campground, make sure everything looks good. Um, we notify the rangers if there's anything that's a little weird. And also, oh, big spider, yeah. Um, we also um, check the bathrooms, make sure that they're clean. If not, we clean them. And um, if there's anything really weird out of the ordinary, that's when we call the rangers. So. Right now I'm going to go in and uh, check the bathrooms, make sure they're clean, and if not, we'll be cleaning them. <laughs> the bathrooms were perfect when we checked them, so we continued on walking the campground and decided to stop and have a little fun too. And uh, let us know if you have any questions or comments. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. And let us know if you have your own work camping, campground hosting experience that you'd like to share with us. Yep. We'll be updating you know, over the next three months our experiences, uh, being a little bit more specific about what we actually see and do. Yep. But what have we seen lately? We've seen raccoons, egrets, eagles. No bears really, so. Raccoons. Area. Evidence of them getting into garbage cans. Yeah. <laughs> but that's pretty much it so far. That's it. Beautiful. Yes. See you guys. Bye. Bye.